Hey everyone, it's your favorite financial advisor, back with another exciting episode of Share Market Secrets. Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of Bitcoin, one of the most talked about topics in finance. Whether you're a seasoned investor or a complete newcomer to the space, I guarantee you'll learn something new. So, grab a notebook and let's get started. Number 1. Analogy of Bitcoin Think of Bitcoin as digital gold. Just like gold, it's a scarce resource with a finite supply. But unlike gold, it's not stored in a physical vault, it's stored in a digital wallet. Another way to think about it is like a digital piggy bank. Just like you keep your physical money in a piggy bank, you keep your digital money, or bitcoins, in a digital wallet. For example, let's say you have 5 bitcoins in your digital wallet. Just like you can access the physical money in your piggy bank, you can access the bitcoins in your digital wallet using a secure password. Number 2. Central Authority The beauty of Bitcoin is that it operates on a decentralized network, meaning there's no central authority or government controlling it. Instead, it's powered by a network of computers, called nodes, working together to validate transactions and secure the network. This network is called the Bitcoin network. For example, let's say you want to send one Bitcoin to a friend. Instead of having to go through a bank or government, the transaction is verified and processed by the nodes on the Bitcoin network, ensuring that the transaction is secure and efficient. Number 3. Bitcoin History Bitcoin was created in 2009 by an unknown person or group of people using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. The idea behind it was to create a decentralized, digital currency that could be used to purchase goods and services without the need for a central authority, like a bank or government. Since then, Bitcoin has become one of the most well-known and widely used cryptocurrencies in the world. For example, let's say you want to purchase a new laptop online. Instead of using traditional currency, you can use Bitcoins to make the purchase quickly, securely, and without the need for a central authority like banks to process the transaction. Number 4. Bitcoin Mining Now, let's talk about how new Bitcoins are created. This process is called mining and it's the process of adding new transactions to the blockchain, which is a decentralized public ledger that records all Bitcoin transactions. Miners compete to solve complex mathematical problems, and the first one to solve it gets to add the next block of transactions to the blockchain and receive a reward in the form of new bitcoins. This reward is how new bitcoins are introduced into the supply, and it's currently 6.25 bitcoins per block. For example, let's say you're a miner and you successfully solve the next mathematical problem. You add the next block of transactions to the blockchain and receive a reward of 6.25 bitcoins. These newly created Bitcoins are now part of the total supply and can be used for transactions just like any other Bitcoin. Number 5. Blockchain and Transactions The blockchain is a key component of the Bitcoin network, as it provides a secure and transparent way of recording transactions. When you send Bitcoins to someone, a new transaction is added to the blockchain, and the transaction is verified by multiple nodes on the network. This verification process ensures that the same Bitcoin can't be spent twice and prevents fraud. The decentralized nature of the blockchain also makes it resistant to tampering and hacking. For example, let's say you want to send one Bitcoin to a friend. The transaction is added to the blockchain and verified by multiple nodes on the network, ensuring that the transaction is secure and legitimate. Your friend now has one Bitcoin in their digital wallet, and you have one less. The transaction is recorded permanently on the blockchain, making it public and transparent for everyone to see. Where to buy Bitcoin in India? In India, you can buy Bitcoin through several exchanges, such as WayJarX, CoinDCX, and Binance. Before you start, make sure to do your research and choose a reputable exchange. Once you've set up an account, you can easily buy and sell Bitcoin using Indian rupees or other cryptocurrencies. So there you have it, folks. I hope this explanation has given you a solid understanding of what Bitcoin is and how it works. Remember, as with any investment, there's always risk involved. Make sure to do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. 
And that's it for today's episode of Share Market Secrets. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial insights and tips. Until next time, stay tuned. Most importantly, here are a few resources and study materials to understand Bitcoin and how it works, we'll leave the links below in the video description. Disclaimer, please note, these resources are provided for informational purposes only and do not constitute financial advice.